let's tie Renee Harrop's CDC captive done. I've got 10 knot rust thread, rusty brown, and a Tamco 100. Lay down a base of thread, clear back to about right above the barb. I've got some lemon wood duck fibers. For the tail, you use about oh, about the length of the shank of the hook. About eight to ten fibers, eight to twelve fibers. Now I've got some amber or rust colored antron. And very sparse. We're talking maybe six to eight, six to ten fibers. I'm going to tie them both in at the same time and use the same wraps. I just want the uh, Antron fibers to go halfway back. I like a really slim profile on this fly. I'm taking it into just about where the thorax would be. Trim it off the excess material. Lay down a better base with my rusty brown thread. Eight awkward just fine. I just happen to have some ten knots spooled up. I'm going to build up the body. Not too much of a taper, a little bit. You want it to look like a, a bit of like a carrot. And I've got a goose biot in a mahogany color tied in by the tape. Now I do want the little fuzzy edge. So I've got the notch facing towards the eye of the hook. Once again, take my good hackle pliers and I'm just going to let the weight of the hackle pliers put tension on the biot. Now the co concentric wraps are not going to cover that edge, so I'm not going to overlap it. See, I got a good bite. I got a lot left over yet. That's a good bite, nice and long. And tie it off. and trim off my excess goose biot. Now you could use turkey and you'll get a different look because the turkey's more translucent and Harrop liked that, but I had goose biots that are pretty long so I like using those because I think they're more sturdy. But I don't get the translucency that he gets. Tie it off. 
I got some CDC fibers here. Got in my Pettigene clip. And trim off the stems. And use my Pettigene stacker to bun get a nice bundle of CDC. And this CDC isn't done. When I come up, I'll show you that bundle of CDC fibers that I have. I'll tie it in by the butt ends. Right at right behind the thorax area. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some dubbing and I'm going to build that thorax area. And the dubbing is just hairs here, dark hairs here. I love doing, I don't like the pre packaged. Hairs there dubbing so much as I like making my own or cutting my own off the face of the hairs mask. I've got that little space right behind the eye. I'm going to use that. That's where the head of my fly is going to be, as where as well as where I'm going to tie down my. CDC. Add a little more dubbing to the thorax area. I like that hairs here because it has just the right amount of guard hairs so they stick out and look kind of like legs. I'm going to take my CDC and pull it over as much of it as I possibly can. I'm going to trim those excess fibers in the back that got left behind. They're just not quite long enough where I'm not skilled enough to pull it over. Trim those extra fi excess fibers. Now I'm going to split those CDC fibers and pull them along the side. Just like you would on the legs on the Sawyer's pheasant tail. I'm going to tie that head. Whip finish off and then trim out. So I'm trimming those bundle of fibers off to the right and left hand side, right at the thorax, just behind the thorax area, just like you would on a pheasant tail. And that's my version of Harrop's CDC Captive Done in Mahogany. Always fussing. <laughs>